How many years have you been involved uh, in the Association of Earth Science Editors? Probably about 20 years, I'm thinking. We have our own nonprofit status and our own bylaws, our own constitution, but we've agreed to join this associated society uh, group under the umbrella of GSA so that we do have interaction uh, with all of these geology or earth science related organizations. Um, so even though we are a small group, we have access to a lot of other associated groups. What is the number of the members that you have? Oh, I knew you were going to ask that. And I think right now we're uh, around, we're probably around maps 400, mainly North America. And we are almost evenly distributed between Canada and um, the US, maybe a little smaller on the Canadian side. Many of these editors in our association are not geologists. It just so happens that I am. But uh, we do a field trip we, of the area where we're meeting. So our editors that aren't geologists, they can start um, understanding even some of the stuff that they might be editing. It just makes their editing job a little easier if they are familiar with some terms of geology, et cetera. We're all volunteers. And uh, so we, ha we do have an office manager. So we have one paid employee. Where, where is the financial funding coming from? Uh, good investment with our, uh, with our membership and our, um, once in a while we'll get a grant but uh, we're, we've pretty much been self-funded and we do this on a very small amount. It was before my time, but very close to when I joined the organization that we had a treasurer who was quite savvy uh, and what money they had at the time they invested. Uh, and uh, we, we keep accounts that are solid uh, accounts, but uh, did invest in the stock market. And then uh, I did, in fact, uh, diversify uh, what we had in the stock market just to be on the safe side. So we went from a little bit more risky material back to a much more conservative uh, financial situation. Are, are there like other internal debates that you have in the association? What are you discussing about right now? One of the problems is... Uh, people not wanting to be officers because uh, everybody's got such a busy life and uh, it does take some time. Uh, and uh, trying to get some of our younger people that are sort of afraid to be officers because they aren't trained. And uh, a lot of the surveys uh, are not rehiring new, new editors because of uh, the crunch with federal money, even the industry. Uh, you're down there in Houston and uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, the, the editors there, uh, several of them have lost their jobs because uh, of the uh, industry is uh, just not able to support uh, the infrastructure uh, to keep in-house editors available. Tell us again, so we have a trend where you editors, you see that there are less and less uh, requests for hard copies. Yes, uh, and a lot of people don't even want hard, if they're set up with a robust enough computer, they don't really need the hard copies if they're not gonna be in the field. Uh, most people are so urbanized, think, they think they're going to have internet and their cell phone all the time. Uh, but a lot of us geologists uh, really still have to re rely on hard copy. Um, I'd like to know your, um, your thoughts on the, on the open access. What do you think about this? Yeah, well, for me personally, the dissemination of any information that gets us out into the world is very important. And if it's free, uh, obviously, that's going to be uh, much more accessible to people. 
the problem with open access, and I, I can tell you, I know exactly what happened with the Geological Society of America, is that they uh, wanted to do open access. So they started um, putting out some of their popular uh, journals. Uh, they, they were testing it and a couple of journals went out under open access. But the problem is that a lot of times it's the publications that are funding the organization. You know, that's not the case for the surveys. Uh, but if you are a publishing organization like the Geological Society of America, you're getting a lot of your income uh, from those publications.